It's like a Matthew McConaughey cat right now. That's no good. Oh, sh**. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to I Am Awful and You Can Be Too, episode number three. Uh, the only internet web show released on a Friday where I am drawing a cat. Um, yeah, yeah. So today we're going to be taking a break from all the fantasy crap um, and doing something a little different. I am doing a picture of my good friend's cat. Uh, there was a death in the family. And um, this is not the cat, it turns out. This is the other cat. So this is a test kittles. Um, before I try to attempt, you know, the more delicate one. Uh, I'm also gonna do a little bit of coloring today just to show you where I'm at with, with coloring, which is not, not good. Cats are complicated with colors and, you know, they're covered in fur typically. They got faces. So it'll be a good exercise to, you know, and a good opportunity for you guys to really see me flounder with coloring specifically. This cat's not, it, this cat's still with us, so I don't feel bad about doing a terrible job of doing what I can do here. Drawing a cat, being able to draw a cat is really important for any artist uh, because I think you can control the universe if you can draw a cute enough cat. I'm only kind of kidding. I, I think you could actually commit war crimes as long as you are able to draw a cute cat on the, uh, the the apology. You could probably rob a bank and just leave a nice little cat picture. People just you sure do love cats. So uh, any artist, every artist should invest a lot of time in um, in learning how to draw cats. So let's let's just get into this. Just getting the ears right, as dry as I can get them. See, so yeah, I'm really rough, rough with the shapes. It's a very, this is a long, fluffy haired cat. It's not like a long cat, I'm sure it's a normal sized cat, but it's, it's hair is long. Lots of, lots of fur going on. Cats have four legs, so it's important to remember that. Typically, I'm not trying to body shame any three-legged cats out there. Uh, really expressive eyes, obviously. So we'll see what we can do here. Though that looks a little angry to me. Just kind of freestyling here. Nose. I have a hard time deciding what, like, I don't want to just make the triangle because that's like an icon, you know? And you, you don't want to rely too heavily on icons. You want to try to capture what's really going on. So the little nostrils do it for me. It's a little confused. Maybe a happier cat might. There we go. A little, a little chin there. Cats have chins. Yeah, so just trying to get the basic outline and the form of the cat done. That way I can, I don't like coloring. So I, I'm gonna do my best to try to focus on that a little more than I, I do. I, I have a style that I adopt that's kind of lazy and I'm gonna try to do a little bit more with this out of respect for the other cat. This one, and then I'll, I'll test this new process on this one. Um, those eyeballs, it looks too jolly. Cats are sinister. Cats are at, now it's stoned as this cat's lit. This cat went to the hydroponics first. This is a real laid back cat right now. This is, we'll come back to that. Get the arm in here. I will not be illustrating any vet books anytime soon. Here we go. It's a shitty, gross arm. We can do better than that. I'm not doing this as late as I typically do, so I'm a little more energetic, so I, I apologize for that. Kittle tummies. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't turned kittle tummies into like a, the currency mortgage a house. I'll let you pet my kittle's tummy 36 times. Approve my loan, you fuck. Let's go here. Really not spending too much time with the inking phase this week, just because I want to focus on the coloring. Goofy leg. That doesn't doesn't quite work for me. Bushy tail. I'm really cramping myself into one corner of this thing. I don't I don't know 
I have this whole this whole sheet, and I've decided to just do this little corner. Be a fun experiment to try to figure out the first cat that I ever drew. I mean, obviously, it would have been utter horse and it would have been on the side of the living room wall. I'm sure my dad really appreciated that. It's probably with like a, a poop colored crayon too, just to add. It's not even a decent color on the wallpaper. The little area where the, the cat butt exists and bleeds into the tail, I'm just I'm gonna ignore how that should really look and just keep this nice, big, bushy tail and just cover all those sins with that. Cats don't wear a lot of clothes, so you'll, you'll, I don't have too many uses for the cheaty, the cheaty you that I love so goddamn much. But I'll find a place for it somewhere. I'm gonna keep, ooh. Like that? Sure, that's, that's gonna get to live for some reason. Oh, wrong way. I'm having a problem with this clip program, because sometimes when you control Z and, you know, undo your latest action, it will switch out of the pen tool into the nether zone. You know, it'll, it'll be a selection thing. So you'll you'll hit the, the key, the P key, short key to, uh, and it will kick you over to the pencil. I'm sure I can fix it with preferences, but it's, it's a weird little glitch that I don't know why I'm having. Let's see, group with a cat like this, it has the little tiger stripes on its face. Uh, I don't know, but someone who knows cats can tell me. So the tabby cat is this a uh, Midwestern songbird eater. What's this, what's the species of this cat here? Felix domesticus, Kittles and Bitsicus. Let's see here. I know this isn't technically how this cat really looks. There's a lot, the, the patterns are a lot more intricate, but you know what? Garfield, Garfield looks like he does and no one gives Jim Davis any shit. So this cat looks like this today. I don't like his face though. Like that cat up there wants to murder something. And my cat looks like he just got back from a Grateful Dead concert, hot boxing in a tent with hula hoops. So we're gonna have to fix this. Cat, you need to be more alert. You're a killer. You're an apex predator. You tell people when to wake up and Egyptians, you know, worshiped your ass. You can't be laying there like a, like a dope. Am I happy to see me face? Do we trust cats? I don't. That, is the verdict in? Do cats want to kill us or do they like us? Do they think they own us? What, what is the, ooh, I don't like that. Oh, wrong way. Come on, back to the, all right. Okay, that looks scary. Um, I know. I know we were going for a little more stern, but that cat now has murder eyes and we don't want that. This is a, a warm up memorial service art piece, so I want to make sure the cat doesn't look like it is contemplating murder necessarily. I know that all cats are just pieces of shit that eat everything. I read the oatmeal. kind of like the nose. I don't know why I killed it. I'm going to go back to this simple little thing. Given how cheap I've made the rest of them, this seems appropriate. Little fangs, good for um, killings, killing animals, killing birds, leaving them on your porch. There we go. Just enough menace in there to let you know that it doesn't really like you. It's just tolerating your bullshit. But we'll give it the Disney twinkles in its eyes. That way you have a mixed message. You're like, oh, you would eat my baby if I left you unattended for too long. But you are very cute. I'm, uh, I'm okay with that face. It's honest. I'm sorry. It might not be the most charming looking face, but that's what cats look like to me. You know, a little bit of malice but big cutesy eyes. So I'm feeling pretty confident with the color of this thing now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in. This is what you, I don't know, a real artist would call flatting in your colors. Or flats, or flats shoes. I don't know, I'm so dumb. Um, This is my base coat. I'll, I'll do it that way. This is my base coat color, nice gray. Now I know how coloring works. Uh, well, I mean, I have an idea. You, uh, you, completely change your mode of thinking from inking is from what I gather because uh, when you're inking you're just enclosing shapes with line right your 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 negative and positive spaces are filled and um, relegated and coloring alternatively is um, adding value and dimension 
with light and tones and and it's to me it's the difference between 2d and 3d almost figuring out how to how, how to make an object appear real all, all, all of those great aspects you see and i can't do it for shit quite yet you know creating a bend in the side of an apple using different shades of red you're using light and it terrifies me just because it's so much easier just to draw a curve with this thick fatty black line yeah um it's incredible what people can do with you know from the masters of the renaissance all the way to like some piece of shit kid on deviantart i really can't believe what they can accomplish and uh I hope to be adequate at it someday is probably the best way I could describe it. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this as well. This program, I mean, there, there was some sort of eraser in here that I was messing around with that you would delete it and it would go up to a solid line, even if that line was on a different layer. So here we go. Picking a lighter shade now. So now I have my flats. Typically you go in and you create either more shadowed areas or more highlighted areas. And, you know, it's a matter of just adding and blending those. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the brushes in this program. Um, I mean, there's so many and I, that it's mind boggling how they interact. Right now I am using a smooth watercolor and you can see as I go over the previous layers, they are, you know, affected by the, the newer strokes and the you know pressure plays into it it's really cool if i wasn't such a hack i would definitely be using this to make photorealistic color for this cat but instead i'm just gonna vaguely add in some highlighted areas if you guys came here to see masterworks you came to the wrong tutorials so coming in this direction just giving those some some value mouth thing now face, there it goes. All right. Still looks like it wants to eat us, that's good. We haven't lost that quality, which I'm very happy about. We'll give it a little sock mitten things, little sock feet. Colored its eyeballs, there we go. It's empty predator eyes, like a doll's eyes. Filling his nose. Going back to the smooth watercolor setting. Let's see here. Filling in some darker values now just to kind of blend all this together. Just completely overwrite the stuff I had done before, which is good. Just rough blending all this together. Make sure you get, gotta, gotta get them all. I mean, I really knock on coloring. Like, it's not what I focus on when I'm doing projects, which is too bad because, uh, you, once you get in the zone, you know, then you actually start enjoying yourself. So right, right now I'm actually kind of having a good time. And if I could find some way to remind myself before I go in to be optimistic about this step, I'm sure I'd appreciate my life more. But as it stands, I'm just way more interested in being a big dumb, dumb baby about it every freaking time it comes across my desk. Sure why I've decided that's not worth doing. So I know this together for really no reason. Let's pollute over here as well. Make sure we're equal opportunity polluting this whole cat with this darker brown color. Next up, gonna go back to the G pen. I'm creating new layers as I do this too. That way if I really hate something, I'm not destroying. I mean, that's like Photoshop 101, it's important. This is gonna be a little darker than I intend to, but I might decrease the opacity to make this work better. Just trying out a different brush now. It's sort of experimenting as I go because I, I am not very familiar with this program as far as messing around with these brush sizes and types. I'm in here. It's gonna be a darker shade. But these 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 brushes are really interesting and I I mean, I, I don't know what's available out there or typical, but I am really having a good time with this program. Um, I'm really glad that I got it. You can see the uh, pressure gradient and the uh, interactivity with the other layers as I go. So that's, that's fun. Go in and just start coloring in some of these darker values. 
cats really like kind of have pretty colors to them. It's interesting, you know, the markings. I, I don't know the official. If there's a cat breeder out there, you can let me know what the official terminology is for the shit your cat's hair looks like. Some more highlights. You know, it's got kind of a white tum tums. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's get a little dark. Reinforce the mittens. Come on in here and do this. We've been kind of ignoring the tail a little bit. It just looks really white in that photo. Like this cat has a lot of f white fluff in its midsection. Markings are mostly on that sh on its shoulders. Uh, I'll decrease the opacity there. You can see him kind of playing with it. Let's uh, let's do an overlay layer. Do I like that? Uh, sure. That'll work. Highlights around the ear. It's a little too large of a brush. Let's dial that back. More accents. Layer styles are always fun to, to play with. Try to get the actual, make this look like hair, not just a lot of mush on this cat. Just rough it in. At about this point, I'm like, eh, it's, it's a cat. It's, it's, still, it's still a cat. Let's, let's play the new brush. Let's see what's going on here. Make it a little bit wider, get the G pen, highlight its eyes a little bit more so it pops, a little more vibrant. There we go. Okay, let's, I see your murder eyes, you son of a bitch. So now I'm using the dark pencil, which is also, uh, I enjoy using it for, for coloring because it does have that op opaque nature about it. But we're just going to add some uh, thin, fine hairline to, you know, imply that this cat is made of a lot of strands, which you know, is totally cheating. But some highlights, I'm sure it's killer fangs are totally realized. Yeah, it's kind of okay. It's, it's, it's better. So just accenting a few of the hairs, um, or implying the existence of hairs, because like, oh, what the fart? Put that back down. Go. Again, swoops in all directions, nothing consistent. I mean, it's a little bushy anyway. More accents here. Let's go, let's try a layer style, let's see what happens. Um, overlay, oh, that's cool, I like that. Now, since we added the highlights, I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna start just muddying in some shadows, you know. Again, like a real painter would is pro well, it, yeah, it's pretend, is actually laughing his ass off right now because of just the simplicity, the childlike nature of what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but they would begrudgingly have to admit that I'm not full of shit. The theory is sound, technically, but uh, the execution is severely wanting. Definitely not something I'm going to brag about any time in my life. Let's see here. Just got a lot of muddy colors. A lot of black, huge black spaces. Gonna go ahead and knock this down a little bit. It's a little, it's a, little, it's a nice burn. That's better, like around. That's probably my favorite part about working digitally is you could just screw around on a layer and then you can make it look good even if it's total shit just by messing with the overlay settings. It's like just a grab bag. I have no idea. This, sure. Add a little glint on the eyes. Just a little bit of a glow. It's luminous. I'm just staring at you in the dark, waiting for you to die so it can shit on your chest and tear up your drapes. Yep, that is that is uh, that is that cat. Now I'm just gonna dress it up a little bit. Gonna import new layer. What's going on? Click you shit ball. There's just enough weird. There's just enough off from Photoshop that sometimes I look like a total freaking idiot trying to get things to work. Eraser, soft one. The old softy. I'm gonna grow the size now. I forgot where the cat is, but I'm gonna guess he's somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Spotlights on you, Kettles. What did you do today? 
How have you disappointed me? What have you done to my house? Where did you poop? Because I know you didn't poop where I asked you to poop. You pooped somewhere else. Was it in one of my shoes? Was it in my garage? Where did you shit, Kittles? I'm gonna duplicate it. Uh, this is another trick that I use. I'm going to try to combine selected layer. There we go. And I'm gonna duplicate the shit out of it once I move them. And then I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur to the top one. That way, all of my bullshit looks a little more polished. You know? It looks like I tried a little bit harder. And I'm gonna just delete right at his face. That way you have no, you know, to stare right into his death eyes. This, this killer, this Sher Khan. Being able to draw cast saves you from ever having to buy a Hallmark card ever again. Bring something in in the background. Let's see here. That's nice. Let's use that. I like that. It's laying on a blanket. Some sort of blanket. It looks like some sort of picnic table. And uh, you're trying to eat, but of course it's here in your face, demanding your attention. If you, if you, if you uh, don't give it your undivided attention, it will poop in a shoe. And you won't know until you're trying to go to work. Right here. So we're gonna just put some uh, shadows behind it. You know, roughly just to give it some dimension here. I'm sure there's an outer glow preset, but I can't, I haven't, that's nothing I haven't found it in this program quite yet, is how to populate those layer effects that you, you know, that I love so dearly in Photoshop. Personalized clip art, that's a good thing to call this. This is definitely just a personalized clip art. You're a special cat, here we go. There's some effects, let's grab some hokey effects here. Blood stains, tempting, but we'll do sparkles. This is, ugh, it's gross. Um, Oh, uh, those are way too small. I'm not trying to make like a Tinkerbell cat. I want just some garish, big old... Oh, there we go. Now you're just a glamour kitty. Look at that. Oh, Kittles. You didn't know you were getting the, uh, the full treatment here today, did you? Hokey glamour photos. You slut cat. Put some stars. There's some stars. You're an A-plus Kittles. Look at... All right, so that might take us out of this one. Uh, I'm liking it. Uh, I'll probably do something less silly for the next one, but yeah, uh, thanks for joining me this week, and I will see you next time. Say bye, kiddos.